Bourdain, the Temple transfer, spent three seasons with the Owls, so he's well familiar with all these American Athletic Conference teams. Golden Hurricane to get the first look in the capable hands of the transfer from Louisiana Tech, Kobe Williams. And here is P.J. Haggerty slashing in, doing his thing, and he starts with an opening two for T.U. The Red Crown starters for Tulsa, all transfers. Kobe Williams, we mentioned from Louisiana Tech, he and Haggerty tied for second in the American Conference in steals, and that's what Memphis can do defensively. Jones gallops to the rim and ties it at two. Pretty tried to clear some space from Walton. A three by Garcia is no good. And up high is Nick Jordan for that rebound. Long hit ahead. The Tigers run and it's punched home with authority by Malcolm Dandridge. Kind of been around so he's provided that leadership with all these new faces. Ten of them on the Memphis roster. Couldn't say enough about his leadership, could he? He really kept talking about Malcolm and his leadership. There's Haggerty, a little gather step there, and he draws a foul. Rebound margin in the league out of 14 teams. Tulsa, protect the paint. And what he meant by that was keep the ball in front of you. And when you get into conference play, said there might be a few things in the back pocket that we would show from time to time. Haggerty draws another foul between PJ and David Jones. It might be about two and a half hours a night because we're going to see a lot of that. That's all right. We think it's going to be entertaining no matter how long it lasts. You know what? Hey, this is going to be such a game. You want to stay a little longer. Baseline drive here by George Dane, and he drew some contact. That'll be a foul on Carlos Williams. That play was created by Walton with that. You either give, you either give up an open three. Team starts there last year, averaging about six points and four and a half. Pretty slow to go to work here, methodically. It's also in the half court now. Memphis is one of the better defensive teams in the country, and you see Jones, who really can set out and guard. Haggerty off the mark. There's Carlos Williams bouncing back up and in. Chad, one of the things that when you play Memphis, they do so much trapping and they do a lot of switching. Sometimes they get in bad positions to rebound, and that's hampered them some on the glass, and that is what happened right there. And Carlos took advantage of it. David Jones lays it in reverse and has his second. This is definitely a Memphis's pace right now, tempo-wise. Walton might have gotten away with one there, but he missed the shot. Easy run out. Haggerty, the finish. It's one of those where Memphis had a breakdown in defense. They want to play this game. They want to get it up and going like that. Tulsa does not mind. They play fairly fast themselves, but definitely advantage Memphis if it stays like this. Dandridge might have been blocked partially by Kobe Williams, who picks up the personal foul. It's a good thing when you get wins for Arkansas. Lost to Villanova and the championship game. Defensive rebounding ability and Barnes back up. No. Taken down by Caleb Mills, who's also been in the game. Quinterly with a three, and that's good. You know what, Quinterly is very capable. You know, has it's, transfer portal error, that's a good thing. They have experience, it's just not all necessarily at Memphis. That's very, very true. And there's a steal, which is taken away by Naquan Tomlin. Jones attacks and lays it in. And Eric Cockle in the Golden Hurricane forced to burn a timeout. So we'll see where Tulsa goes. They need a bucket here, Memphis on it. 7-0 run. This is Matt Reed, the freshman, out of this double team. Oh, Barnes slides right through a double team. He follows his own miss with the buckets. And let's hope not very often for both of these teams. But he does have those happy feet. The refs dinged him on that one. And Anthony Jordan, Ron Gruber, and Jeffrey Anderson, the men in charge of this one tonight. Barnes launches, and it's good. A three up top, so Barnes has back-to-back -back buckets for the Golden Hurricane. Such an efficient player. And the other way to the rim is Jaden Hardaway, one of the two sons of head coach Benny Hardaway. Oh, that was Jaden Hardaway sprinting this guy. And Coach Conklin talked to us about that a little bit today. They're switching one through five right now. Hold the ball and off the ball as we saw right there. Barnes barely grazed the rim. Haggerty races to the bucket. He came up with that loose ball off the save. Look what I found. P.J. Haggerty right there. Memphis made a mistake, saved that ball under Tulsa's basket. Tomlin's jump hook rims in for him. Soft touch right there over the left shoulder on that roll. Get right there, the deep touch right there by Tomlin. He had 15 points and 15 rebounds against Austin P in only his second game as a Tiger. 
There's Haggerty in attack mode. The law of balance, beautiful bank shot high off the window. DJ feeling it early right now, doing what he does. He's a guy that's attacking. One thing I noticed earlier, Memphis did a good thing, I think, by going under the ball screen and making PJ shoot that three. There's Tomlin, that hit the bottom of the rim. A three by Caleb Mills is strong. And another offensive rebound. Jaden Hardaway, yes, out of the corner. Chad, how many times when you and I are together do I talk about offensive rebounds? Oh, Tyshawn Archie, let's hope he's okay. Memphis didn't rotate back. He was finally located by Tomlin, and he was set to send that one home. TCU last year, just six games for Jamie Dixon down there before Gaff are very excited about. He is an electric type of, is no good, and Tomlin yanks it away. Memphis has had a little miscommunication twice in ball screen coverage where they usually do a great job of switching. That time it was just a little hesitation and landed that layup attempt. Naquan Tomlin drills the mid-range stroke. Well, he has a really soft touch and is more of a pick and pop kind of five man. He's a perimeter oriented stretch five that can actually drive it as well. And there's a run through, the steal. Jaquan Walton attacks and scores it. And a five-point lead for the top chat to, to, to kind of pick up on what Michelle was just talking about. Right here, we see a layup attempt. Good. Michelle's comments. There's an old saying, it's flying it like a rocket. You got to turn it. You got to be in a sprint. Scoreless for about three minutes now. Memphis has been able to build this six-point advantage. Hey. Jones, the beautiful dish and an easy lay-in for Dandridge. And, and that's not something that Jones is known for. He only gets one and a half assists per game, but he's showing you a little bit of everything tonight. His energy, the last few games, he said they had maybe their two best, most physical practices this week. And I think it's shown up here tonight. There's a lot of energy and physicality from his team. And there's a lot of shot making from that guy. David Jones That's just continuing to do a couple from in there. Great, great position. Got a deep touch. Dandridge ended up letting him catch it deep, but he didn't give an ankle. He still made Garcia score over the top. Hard power dribble. Dandridge foul. And he will head to the charity strike. This is a 10-0 run for the team right here, though. So just do that. <laughs> yeah, drive through. that drive through. And he got them both. Hey, usually when guys either shoot an air ball or bank one, they always make it second. Is that true? Malcolm, and I'm telling you, yeah. check, check the numbers. Got I a lot of analytics been, these been days. About 80% of the time, that's the Pooh Williamson call. 80% <laughs> of the time, guys make that second one when they bank or air ball the one prior to that. Tulsa needs a bucket. They go to Haggerty and he gets it. He is their lead bucket getter. That stops a 12 nothing, nothing Memphis run. Well, if you need a basket, as we said, that danger time they were flirting with right there. You go to that guy wearing number four because he's been your guy and didn't disappoint right there. And it's not a known three-point shooter, to be honest, Chad. Look he's at more of a slasher. Dandridge slides into a good spot but missed it. Kobe Williams rebounds it, and Dandridge yanked on him, pulled him down. Well, Matt is, is right there with him providing the scoring punch. If you want to get some easy putbacks. So I'd say Isaiah Barnes, Chad. So Kobe Williams, couple of... Important free throws for Tulsa. The Memphis lead is eight. Big stop for Tulsa right here. This is a big possession. And Kobe Williams called for the hold on Javon Quinterly. Well, Kobe's a really good defender, but remember what I said. About Quinterly, front end. Of then Archie's supposed to mimic exactly what. At Louisiana Tech, so he's able to pass along the message to young Tashawn Archie. Without a question. He's a guy that is comfortable with Coach Conkle. Coach Conkle is very comfortable with Kobe. And Haggerty is carrying the Golden Hurricane. And An and one opportunity. From that basket and shoot free throws, Chad, every single night. Set way and someone to lock into him. And a turnover nearly, and it is. Quinterly, right to Haggerty. Reed, a good pass from Barnes. Stuffs it down. Very impressive play by Matt Reed. Running full speed, gathered himself, did not travel. Played off two feet, like Coach Conkle said, and gave it to Barnes, who knows what to do when he gets it. Walton quiets the Reynolds Center crowd by stroking home that three. Walton has been on ice cubes a little bit the last couple of weeks. Made a big one for the Memphis Tigers right there on that ball reversal out of Tulsa in the double-team ball screen coverage, which led to that shot. He melted the whole tray of cubes. There's Archie has the answer for Tulsa. Uh, the slippery one himself, Tyshawn Archie, with the step back. That young fella is very smooth, Chad. These teams heating it up. Tulsa's made four field goals in a row. Memphis, six of its last eight. 
Tomlin continues that trend with the bank shot. That, again, Tulsa doesn't want to shy away, but you just want to play smart. Haggerty blocked partially that time by Tomlin. Not sure that was the smart play that we were just talking about. Tomlin attacks the rim and punctuates it. What you say? <laughs> but Caleb Mills was the first name that Penny Hardaway talked about when we talked leadership. That is Tulsa turnover, number 10, and an easy lay-in on the other end for Jaquan Walton. Gas on that fire. That pretty high percentage shot. Indeed. 13 points off turnovers in the first half for the Tigers. Haggerty, not this time. And right it goes to Walton. Memphis hits you fast. Quinterly pulling the trigger and hitting again. Memphis spurting away at the close of the opening half. They lead by 14. It's a 9-0 run. That was a great transition. Fast break action right there by Memphis. That ball, long shot. One dribble up the side. Pitches to the opposite side. You see that dunk right there rolled by Kata. But Tulsa, you can't blink out uh, in a matchup. Sort of a tandem 2-3, 1-1-3 zone ish still matched up right now so let's see if they stay in it or if they go man under 10 to close the half that's off the mark but a foul and walton will go to the charity strike they will get to foul them but again that all started with his close last year he was a fellow american athletic conference program wichita state chad i got something for that i'll say a little later archie to close the half and it is Memphis, beginning defense of last season's American Conference Championship. Right here, they're gonna give you many different looks. Almost got one, like I said, they're not necessarily trying to take it from you, but if you give it to them, they will gladly take it, Chad. We've seen that happen a few times so far tonight. Kobe Williams started the ball rotation. Winds up with Carlos Williams underneath, he's pinned in. Garcia, that's a big three for God for Jared Garcia. His first bucket of the night. And those complimentary pieces come to join this man, P.J. Haggerty, for Tulsa offensively. He'll try another. Carlos Williams hits this one. How about back-to-back threes for the Golden Hurricane? And then it becomes a 2-3 zone right out of that, though. Tulsa made three threes in the first half. They've already made two on their first two trips down in half two. Beautiful spin by Jones, but it spun out as well. The big time move and did everything but finish it. And Tulsa right now definitely has the steam and momentum. And this is what Haggerty will do so effectively. Back to the foul line. He's got 17 points. P.J. Haggerty back to that line. I love the, the words that Eric Conkle was using about him. And he's so good at that. As he misses two free throws right there, but he's so good at oh, right now. And that time, Walton wasn't looking for the ball. Tulsa transitions. Haggerty created some contact. No whistle. And it pops out. Memphis has been very loose with this ball. Walton runs to the rim. And that's blocked. Tomlin makes a trip to the stripe as Carlos Williams fouled him on the return. Jaquan Walton took a page from P.J. And Jones actually doing what Jones. Jaquan Tomlin, native of Harlem, New York. That's number 10 for the Golden Hurricane. This game has been slopped both ways to start the second half. Both yeah. teams are really turning it over. As I say turnover, Memphis nearly turned it over right there. Walton twice. Haggerty got a hand on that, so no trap. This is Ashton Hardaway off the mark. But it's chased down and reset. Jones to the foul line as he attacks. Tell you what, EJ shoots nine, Jones shoots eight. And now we're somewhere close. That's 11 for Jones. That's the old, what were you doing, son? Look. <laughs> Ashton and Jaden Hardaway playing together. Benny Suns. See Memphis right here switching. And that's the second made three of the half for Carlos Williams. And the third for Tulsa. Playing on that baseline. So he's doing a lot of things in his second half for Tulsa. Screen and roll action here. Tomlin up with it and in. Nice action there as he worked hand in hand with that leadership quality that Coach Hardaway and Penny talked about. That, that, that's a seasoned guy. Most guys want to start. I mean, 99% of guys. But he knows that he's going to play starter minutes and bring so much to the team. And there's Williams teeing another one up. How about that? He's getting the second half. And I keep saying that rhythm and ready right there. Shot preparation. He's stepping in. One, two. And 
feet, shoulders are both squared, and calls it back in the zone again. And a steal. Haggerty, the run through. And he's fouled. Shots per game, which leads the American Athletic Conference. And right Fuels tonight for Haggerty. He missed them both. Sometimes it gets a lower end. The reset. Colby Williams. No. Carlos Williams looked like he fell from the ceiling on that rebound, Chad. He's not jumping. He's orbiting, I think. <laughs> he went upstairs. Jones runs into Reed and still finishes. So strong. And the rush shots that they're taking right now, not very good. Darrell Turner, the trainer for Memphis, has been working overtime tonight. Matt Reed and the three ball is working overtime for Tulsa. People are going right, but he got a little sped up himself, had to travel. Much better going to his left. But the Tulsa big guys who have knocked down the threes. Can Haggerty do it? Yes! Tulsa back within three. In your conference opener, what else could you want? And now his team has really shown up to play. Well, they stepped up, and now Tulsa's back in that zone. And it's really giving Memphis some problems. Winterly's miss is flushed down by... So it's four freshmen or redshirt freshmen and a sophomore for the Golden Hurricane. You said it. A lot of youth right now. Look at Malcolm right here guarding the combo guard. Five man can really set down. There are a bunch. He has shot 82%. This by the way, that's 86%, Chad. 86, gotcha. 86, just for those checking the map. One of two for Haggerty. Tomlin goes up to catch and finishes on the other side. Half guys on the ball. You just got to make more of those than you missed. And they're they're going to happen. They're they're gonna gonna he said to us, we don't mind that shot if it's the right guy and the right shot. Again, operating freely is Tomlin, and he'll go to the foul line with the chance at a three-point play. Well, they're figuring the zone out. Third game was clear essentially what that was going to be. <laughs> I wasn't sure what that was, but all right, I'll trust you guys. Pull-up floater is cash for David Jones. That is his game. We've seen him at the basket finish. We've seen him hit the pull-up. We know he's a 40% three-point shooter where he's made a couple of those tonight. This guy scores in bunches in many different ways. 7-0 run for the Tigers. They lead by 11. Kobe Williams, a corner three. Chad, what did I just... Short clock. Kobe Williams, way deep, barely grazed the rim. Young with a long pass to Dandridge, who climbs up and lays it down. Very good pass there by Young, and Dandridge looking like a tight end for the Memphis Tigers right there. Catching it and finishing. He got down court in a hurry, and the lead back to 10. Back to the zone, and now they'll go bad. Josiah McWright, no. It's also really settling for threes, and that is the first two-point make this three. Tulsa back to this zone. Let's see if Memphis works that high post. They're going to ball screen it. And then watch someone flashing right to that nail. A little bit of contact and a late whistle, but I think it was a foul. And I said Memphis has a lot of guys that are... Tinkle went out, and he got guys who were on good teams. Hadn't... Shot clock drips down under 10. We'll see who gets one away here. Short clock, Isaiah Barnes hit a little dead wood right there on the slip. About as good a look as you could hope for, and it's banked in by Carlos Williams. Well, he, hey, he matched area. It was good defense without a foul by Haggerty that time. Great defense by P.J. And Tulsa just hanging around, Chad. It's a seven-point game, five minutes to play. Memphis is so good. Haggerty wide open. He knows where that foul line is, but that's a two-pointer. Williams bounces off Dandridge and misses badly. Not sure about that, but that was a tough shot. Walton runs right at Haggerty and scores. P.J. did a pretty good job of giving ground right kick. Seven-point Memphis lead. That Reed down there posted Quinterly, but that's one of those where you kind of get it in the flow, and Reed on the pick and pop short clock again. Only three to shoot. Reed's going to have to. His foul line jumper is good. That's a bonus for Tulsa. The high post. Kobe Williams gambled and Quinterly couldn't make him pay. Rebound Haggerty. Memphis 0 for 9 from the three-point line in the second half. And Haggerty banks it home. Tulsa within three again. Got a one possession game. Memphis ran something for a little quarter jump shot right there for Jones. Going left. What a sweeping hook shot by Jones when Memphis needed it. Sweep. 
running hook right there, a little baby sky hook a la Magic Johnson, game six against the Celtics, going <laughs> left though instead of Magic going right. Under two minutes left, Haggerty turns it over, pass too tall for Barnes. That was definitely it when you do a textbook like Memphis did, that possession. Back to that same baseline play, they're going back to their guy. Not this time for Jones, and out of the pack comes P.J. Haggerty. He'll pull the trigger, foul! I thought I heard a whistle. I, I, Did we not I, have a whistle? I don't know if it was sneakers or the what I heard something as well. And that's what Eric Conkle is asking. It sounded like a whistle, but must have been a sneaker, as you said. Could have been a sneaker. And a reverse lay-in is missed by Tomlin, but it's punched home by Jordan. Tulsa down seven. They have closed within three on two separate occasions after trailing by 14. They'll be switching everything right now. You don't want to give up threes right now. And Williams steps in and sticks a two from the foul line. Great flash right there by Carlos Williams. And he's been in rhythm all night. You got to give him credit. He's played, played a very good game for Coach Conklin. 16 points tonight for Carlos Williams and a steal. Kobe Williams attacking Jones, reverses it in. And we've got a one possession one, game. One possession right there. And Memphis has been very careless as I. And they call Quinterly for pushing Haggerty. And that, that was obvious right in front of Jeffrey Anderson. You know he's on top of that. That's in front of a Final Four rep right here with Jeffrey Anderson. And no question at all. He's not missing that. One possession game. Both teams are in the bonus foul-wise now. Out of the inbound, Kobe Williams ties it with a made three. Great execution by Tulsa. You can have some patience, and you're going to take the last crack at it. I think you saw Coach Hardaway say about eight seconds on the shot clock. They're going to attack. And I expect the ball screen, and I expect some flash to the middle. They've been running that baseline play for Jones over here in this right corner, but watch it get down to 10, and they'll probably look to start attacking. Here we go. Tigers go to work to try to win it in regulation. Two left. Quinterly wins it. Wow. Kobe Williams sprints the other way, launches in and out. And Memphis hangs on and gets a road win in Chad. defense of a conference crown. Chad, you have a fifth-year seasoned veteran guy.